And here we go, Fire Fans, once again, three rounds this scheduled in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist standing five feet, 10 inches tall. Weighing in officially 155 and one third pounds, his professional record stands at 10 victories and five defeats. Hailing from Brisbane, Australia, here is Damien Beatdown Brown! And next is the opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His background is in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and boxing. At 5 feet 10 inches tall, he weighed in at the lightweight limit, 156 pounds. His professional record, eight victories and four defeats. He is one of the fighting sons of Dublin, Ireland. Here is Paul Renzi Redmond. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action is David Swan. Referee David Swan about to get this one underway. Three five minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors lightweight division. Paul Redmond okay, first round, gentlemen. You in ready? the white and black shorts. Damian Brown in the white, and it's Reds are coming out hard and fast, throwing the combination and immediately going for that takedown, Josh. That is pretty much what his typical game plan is. Drives forward for that takedown and does a lot of really good, dangerous work from the top position. But he's, he's got left that neck in Oh, he's got to defend this guillotine here. And he passes to side control nicely, but Brown flips him over, and he's still got the grip. Well, precarious Ooh. position here, Josh. Yeah, I've got to be honest, that was anxious moments for Paul Redmond, who manages to work his way out here. But straight back in on the single leg. So threatening with that choke is Brown, and he's looking for it again. Redmond Red needs to be really careful leaving that neck in here. Yeah, he's got to respect the grip under the neck when it comes. I'm sure his corner team having nightmares of last time Red was in the cage here in Dublin. Yeah, I think that might just put the brakes on a little bit as... Damien Brown earns a good takedown. Top position for him now. Fast and furious start to this lightweight contest. Damien Brown and Paul Redmond. I mean, we're used to seeing Paul Redmond be very aggressive with his takedowns, really come forward well, cover a lot of distance, and he did exactly that. But he left his neck there, and Damien Brown showing that he will jump on anything if given the chance. Damien Brown looking to posture up there, land some strikes, but... Redmond doing a good job of controlling the posture. One thing we have seen from Redmond in the past as well is him lose the first round or give up a lot of time in the first round and come back strong in the second. Yeah, in fact, most of his finishes come in the second round. He, he kind of, he feels he's a notoriously slow starter, actually, and uh, not doing so on this occasion, but we're going to go for a leg there. now. Brown looking confident though from this position. A Brazilian Jiu Jitsu purple belt is Paul Redmond. But he's got to find his, uh, Redmond. Find his triangle grip here. Perhaps looking to set up this triangle. Oh, he's still an arm as well. I think Brown might just work his way out. He's going to have to switch to an arm lock. And Brown wise to it, circled to exactly the right side. Oh, big elbows from Damian Brown there. They hurt Paul Redmond. It's really good top position grip. Well, <laughs> Just over committing slightly there, and it's going to be a bit of a scramble for position. Oh, he's left the arm in. Red just got the arm. Oh, Paul Redmond jumping on the arm. Incredible grappling transition. scramble here between Paul Redmond and Damian Brown. Yeah, Omar Plata possible here. Damian Brown's got to be careful. He's going to look to actually step over, but the cage is going to impede him a little bit here. Redzer, of course, is going to combine it with a toe hold if he gets the chance. Quite the collection of opponents' feet does Paul Redmond have on his shelf at home. Yeah, it certainly does. You saw him looking to grab Hands the cage, Paul. <laughs> Damian Brown's feet, but good top position for Brown now. Reds are threatening so well off his back, though, with that triangle combination and then jumping on the armbar. Damian Brown said submission or KO. He did not want to leave this one to the judges. He's come here to win, but he's come here to put on a show as well. Certainly no shortage of action in the Which opening minutes in. of this lightweight contest here at Cage Warriors 65. Paul Redmond now looking to work that left arm of Damian Brown. Good grip over the top. Allows him to secure that shoulder down, but good work from Brown to be wise to it. 
Redman hooking the leg there, trying to control the, pos oh, the posture. Yeah, you can hear Mark Fiore calling for posture. Good work from Brown. Oh, and looking for a toehold of his own now. Oh, a huge, huge right hand. hand. Well, that was fantastic transition work. Threaten the feet and then immediately attack with the strikes, looking for the neck now. I've got to say, this is a far more impressive Damian Brown than we saw last time out against Julian Bassouge. Well, it seems the aggression's really been turned up to 11 for Damian Brown this time. He did look passive at times when we saw him out in the Middle East last year. Yeah, and I think, if anything, perhaps he's, fee he's feeding off that aggression of Paul Redmond. He's looking got for the, the neck again. now. Redmond has got to get that hand in to defend. He's got to start grip fighting here. Tight, but not able to get the leverage. It's going to be... The thing that's saving him is the half guard at the moment, but he's got to turn his... There we go. Redmond able to fight his way out of danger once again. But it's such good work from Damian Brown to throw, looking again for the arm. Such good work from Damian Brown to constantly threaten the neck. It means Redmond has got to be careful of everything. Brown dropping a big left hand there, passing into side control. Oh, nice. As the pass. round ends. Unbelievable first round there, Josh, between Woo. Paul Redmond and Damian Brown. What a first round that was. A bit of back and forth for everybody. Paul Redmond coming very close with uh, some good submission transitions. There's some great ground and pound encounters. We're seeing from Damian some of the Brown. replays of the action now. Here's a takedown from Reds, countered into a guillotine choke. And the Irishman in a lot of trouble here oh, early on. This was close, but here he was coming out for the armbar, switched all the way across to an Oma Plata on the other side, looking to go back for the triangle. And then almost took the back. Brown just missing with the elbow, giving up position. Close armbar attempt, great defense from Damian Brown to just scramble his way back out. This was a great right hand. Huge, huge shot that really echoed around the Dublin Helix. Big left hand coming down from Damian Brown there. Let's go, Mark, let's go. Let's and I think the word to describe those exchanges is aggressive. Stall out, let's go, just watch that fall for me. Thanks. Referee David Swan making sure the cage is dry in Damian Brown's corner. Let's hope we get some more of the same in the second of three second five-minute round, rounds. You ready? You ready? Let's do this. Let's see if Paul Redmond immediately looks for that takedown again. Leaping up a cut there from Damian Brown. Yeah, a very considered look on the face of Paul Redmond. Oh, a big knee to the body from Redmond. That's something we've never seen from the Dubliner before. No, I think just uh, playing on the fact that people are so used to seeing him shoot for those takedowns. It was interesting, Damian Brown had actually said to some of the press that he thought, thought Paul Redmond would uh, leave a bit too much space on the ground in some of his transitions and to be able to counter there. Hands out the cage, Paul. Couple of nice short elbows there from Redmond. Doing some nice work with those short shots. Looking for Damian Brown looks for the takedown. Yeah, double wrist lock to counter. Now perhaps looking for the switch. There he goes. Beautiful switch from Paul Redmond. Paul Redmond with 99 problems, but a switch ain't one. As he looks to control the back of Damian Brown. Yeah, I went there. <laughs> Damian Brown searching for a grip on this arm. Good knees to the body from Paul Redmond, though. Let's see if he can get both hooks in. And he does. Paul Redmond looking to unleash the ground and pound and attack the neck of Damian Brown here. Well, Paul Redmond is vicious from a top position when he gets the chance. We saw that against Alexi Roberts in London. Damian Brown has got a bit of work to do, going short grip here. He's got the choke in. Damian Not under the turning throw. into him. Oh, good defense from the Australian. In on a single now, if he can keep turning, Reds is going to threaten the neck. Reds are trying to tie that choke oh, up. Oh, you see, he couldn't quite concave his wrist enough up under the chin. But these are anxious moments for Damien Brown. Got to be a bit more active here. Reds are again looking for the back as he's been a bit over anxious. A little bit Is too high. An arm on the way down, perhaps. And Brown giving himself a momentary reprieve there. Looks to be in a lot of trouble taking shots from the back. And over eager Redmond gave up the position though. Well, now we're going to see what Damian Brown can do from on top here in the second round. Top position for Damian Brown looking to try and walk those legs around. 
Big elbows again. He's got to be careful he doesn't overcommit them. Well, we saw him do that in the first and nearly ended up giving his back to Paul Redmond. Redmond looking to sweep that. Oh, Great job. Lovely sweep from Redmond. Got the hook in. Phenomenal technique from the team Rhino man. Paul Redmond on the attack once again. He's got to watch the arm. Damian Brown perhaps looking to sweep the Kimura on the far side. Redmond's out though. Controlling the position here from side control. Brown trying to use the cage to walk his way out. Brown is scrambling here, but he cannot stop here. He's got to keep going. But this is some brilliant control on top from Paul Redmond to just wear down Damian Brown, get some strikes in. <laughs> Paul Red to Redmond in control now, looking to drop some big knees to the body perhaps. And Brown looked like a grimace from that shot, Josh. Yeah, I mean, he's taking a lot of damage in this round and more importantly he's having to wear a lot of the weight of Paul Redmond. Redmond's known for using his body well in these grappling exchanges. A lot of strength. Nice knee to the head there from Paul Redmond. A lot of strength and conditioning. Going into the camp of Paul Redmond. His team honestly believes he can go a good five rounds at this pace if he needs it. He's got to be careful of this arm triangle here. Not something you see often, arm triangle from the bottom. It has been done. I mean, it's just hard to get the leverage without proper control of your opponent's body, but it's Reds are on top in this half guard now. We saw him land a big knee to the body a few months ago, a couple of punches to the body there. Perhaps he's sensing that Damian Brown could be fatiguing a little bit as this contest wears on. Yeah, I think... But the output from Redmond as well, Josh, has been phenomenal. No, that's it. I mean, if Redmond can keep this pace up, that is really going to put the kibosh on Damian Brown's plans. Looking for... Well, looking for a wrist lock, actually. Very interesting from Paul Redmond here. Difficult to see from this position what he's got on that arm, but the buzzer sounds anyway. It looked as though he was trying to trap the back of Damian Brown's hand to his chest, and then a good old-fashioned compression wrist lock from there. Pretty hard with wrist wraps on, I'd imagine. Well, the first round was exciting, the second round was more of the same. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, a bit of back and forth, but Paul Redmond getting the better of that one. Here was that huge knee at the start of that round. A very aggressive start from Redmond, just what he needed. Beautiful switch there from the Team Rhino man. Maintained this top position so well, could never really establish that back position as well as he would have liked. A little over eager on one occasion. And had to earn his way back up with his fantastic elevator sweep. He blocks the right hand side and elevates with the left. Brilliant jiu-jitsu and maintained that top position very well for the rest of that second round. Reds are looking fresh at the start of this third round. Final round. Good job, boys. Final round, huh? Let's do this. Great shot sportsmanship there between Damian Brown and Paul Redmond. Third and final round of this lightweight contest. Reds are coming out aggressive again, putting his man on the fence, just like we saw in the first round, Josh. Yeah, Redmond pushing forward here, no attempt to change level yet, and a nice bit of aggression from Damian Brown, but Reds are hips in and counters very nicely with a change of weight. Threatening the neck, looking for the arming guillotine here. I can't quite see what the grip is doing. Damian Reds, Brown. it looks like he's squeezing this choke. We can't see if he's got anything on it, though. No, I mean, this is going to be as much about trying to compress the back of Damian Brown's head downwards as it is, getting the, the wrist under the neck, but escaped him back to the feet. Good to see there. Reds are realising that he wasn't going to get the choke, so he used the hold to improve his position. And now searching for a takedown on the fence is Paul Redmond. Yeah, let's see if he drops to a single or a double here. Got to be careful of the knees coming up from Damian Brown, though. Yeah, Brown monitoring that, that one arm of Redmond's, but Redmond doing some good work with strikes to make him think about a few other options. Redmond staying heavy on the cage here. Start moving, guys. A free David Swan asking for action. Brown again, just trying to change the angle, looking for a guillotine now. 
He's got to get control of that body though as Redza bridges all the way out of it. He ends up on the bottom, but I think he might have just protected his neck there. Very similar to what we saw earlier on in this fight. Reds are looking for a takedown, giving his neck up in the process. As of yet, though, Damian Brown unable to capitalize with the submission. Those guillotines are such an, an excellent equalizer. It's a catch-22, because when a guy drives forward on a takedown, he wants his head up to really put the power into the drive. And of course, if you can snap under that chin quick enough, you might be able to get the position you want. It's Damian Brown with the top position here as Redza looks to elevate him again. He's always looking for that sweep there. Hip, hip's got to be in action. And you can hear Damian Brown's corner saying he's always looking for that sweep. It's worked for him once before in this fight. Yeah, it's going to be hard to do with his back flat on the mat. Usually what you need to do is rock your opponent back and use that momentum. If you start with your, your back flat on the mat, it's really just a leg extension. Come on, Damien, we've got to move this. And, uh, most people aren't really that strong. <laughs> oh, especially this deep into what has been a really grueling contest between Damien Brown and Paul Redmond. Both guys leaving it all in the cage here at Cage Warriors 65. Yeah, possible triangle from Paul Redmond. Brown putting both hands back inside very quickly. Brilliant awareness from him to see that submission coming. Never want to get caught in that halfway point of one arm in and one arm out. Mark Fury asking for punches and elbows. You've got to think that Damian Brown's going to start working from here. And Redza manages to force the scramble. Redza with his man up against the cage. Perhaps again looking for one more takedown. And he gets it. Well, not quite. Damian Brown has managed to post a brilliant strip of that grip from Paul Redmond. <laughs> Redmond on top now. Looking to improve his position for a strong finish. A couple of right hands there. Damian Brown looking to get hold of that leg and drive back in, but... As soon as that hand comes off the mat, Reds is going to fire those knees in. Two perfectly timed knees there from Redmond. Brown wisely putting his hand back down on the mat. Ooh, that was, that was close. And referee David Swan telling Brown not to play the game with his hand. Oh. Face down, okay? No more knees there. What's the knees? Damien, don't play the game. Well, Damien Brown grounding himself, but some good strikes. <laughs> from Paul Redmond. Really turning up the pace here at the end of what has been a frantic 15 minutes. Big take down there for Paul Redmond. Brown still looking for the scramble though from underneath. Yeah, he's gonna try and go all the way to deep half if he can. Or possibly up for a single. Can't quite see what's happening on the other side. Damien Brown making red zone every second of this as he takes him out. Our last couple of seconds. Big finish from Paul Redmond here to get this mount position. Big elbows from Paul Redmond to end the round and the fight. What Incredible a Incredible contest. Was. And Josh, Damien Brown said he didn't want to spend much time on his back. He said he wanted to go out there and put on the show, be aggressive. He certainly was. Whether it was enough or not remains to be seen, but it, it is a shame that one person has got to lose this fight. It really is. Let's have a look at some of these replays. It was another frantic back and forth round. Great work there from Damian Brown to take top position. Redmond here threatening with a triangle late in the fight. Keeping Brown guessing constantly. Brown with a nice elbow. Four short punches from Paul Redmond. And a final big takedown from Redza. I wonder if the work rate of Paul Redmond is what's going to see him through. And a strong finish from the Dublin man. As we throw this to John Martinez to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the scorecards. All three judges agree 29-28. Your winner by unanimous decision from Dublin, Ireland, Paul Rizzo Ritman!
Paul Redmond not looking completely overjoyed with that victory, but a hard-fought win against a very tough opponent, Josh. Yeah, it certainly was. I feel uh, you've got to feel for Damian Brown here because he did a lot of excellent work throughout that entire fight. But Paul Redmond just a bit higher work rate, a bit more in the top position.